Congressman Elias, thanks so much for your time. Thank now, you. Thank Zambia you. Tourism is looking to change the perspective of African tourism of being just uh, or, or being more than just about safaris and wildlife and the like. How do you intend on doing that? Yeah, well, um, first and foremost, we've got to, to appreciate the fact that, uh, you know, tourism is, uh, is uh, the next big thing uh, to happen in the world. You know, um, you will agree with me that, uh, you know, the tourism now is contributing huge uh, revenues, you know, the gross domestic products of many countries all over the world. And, uh, you know, Africa, um, in our view, is not getting as much as it should be getting, you know, from the tourism, you know, potential that is in the, pro in the country and in the, in the continent. But, you know, one other thing that has been noted and I, I acknowledge is that, uh, you know, Africa has also not packaged its tourism in a, in a, in a way and a manner that will increase its revenues. Um, for instance, the focus many of the continents, uh, many of, of the countries on the continent has been on safari, wildlife, and obviously you know that, uh, you know, in that vein, you find that it's very difficult for Africa sometimes to package its tourism in a manner that will attract, you know, a tourist, because sometimes the tourists become fatigued in seeing the same things, you know, so we need to package the products in a manner that will excite the tourists both within the region and obviously outside Africa to visit Africa. Now, so for us as Zambia, one of the things we want to do is to package tourism in, in such a manner that we exploit every little opportunity, you know, to, to invite visitors and tourists to our countries and, and our regions. And obviously, there is a lot to see other than wildlife. There is a lot to see other than, you know, you know, safari, you know, the entire African life, you know, the life of an African, you know, the story of, of Africa itself is, is potential, you know, uh, tourist package because... Well, for sure. I mean, I suppose it really speaks to breaking the stereotype because in uh, many parts of the world, even now in this 21st century, uh, there are people who think that, you know, we live with lions in our, our backyard. But Elias, just speak to me about some of the investment opportunities for tourism that uh, foreign players can exploit in Zambia. Yeah, well, um, for, for instance, in Zambia, I, I must tell you that, yes, uh, many people, you know, just know about the Victoria Force. Zambia is well known for the Victoria Force. Well, well admittedly, it's one of our biggest, you know, tourism facility in the, in the country. And uh, it's one of the, you know, World Seven Wonders. And obviously, we are very proud to, to play home to this facility. But I'll tell you, there is so much more than has so far been exploited. You know, the only challenge we've had, you know, and, and admittedly, is that uh, we have suffered a serious deficit in terms of infrastructure. You know, most of the facilities, we've got beautiful uh, tourist facilities and sites, safari sites, you know, are dotted across the country. And I must tell you, you know, my province boasts home to a number of uh, phenomenal, you know, sites and uh, safari, you know, in, in, in our province. But uh, unfortunately, you'll find that most of these facilities, uh, sites and safaris suffer, you know, the, the blunt of, uh, you know, effective uh, and, uh, 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 you know, support infrastructure. You know, you touch on a very important uh, factor being uh, the lack of infrastructure development because we do know the deficit that the continent suffers runs in, yeah. in the billions of uh, dollars. But the thing is, I mean, this is the bedrock for any form of investment and particularly kind of the tourism investment that you are looking for. Uh, maybe commitments uh, short to medium term uh, from uh, the uh, government there regarding uh, trying to ramp up infrastructure development there to bring in more tourism in your country. Yeah, you know, my, my government, and I must say my president, His Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagolungo, you know, has acknowledged, you know, and uh, in his uh, last uh, address to... Uh, you know, to, to Parliament through a State of Nation address, you know, His Excellency the President did acknowledge the fact that, uh, you know, tourism, you know, mining and agriculture, you know, remain to be the future you know, of our country, especially tourism because we feel that it hasn't been sufficiently exploited. Uh, but obviously having realized the potential uh, of the tourism sector, 
You know, the government is also cognizant of the fact that much of the inadequacy in terms of the, the revenues that have been posted has been as a result of, you know, absence of adequate, you know, infrastructure support. So in this event, you know, government is investing a lot of money, you know, you know, you know, billions of, of, of dollars that have been, millions of dollars that have been put in infrastructure development. You know, currently my government is, uh, is building, you know, you know, uh, international uh, uh, status airports, uh, air, you know, multinational airports. Uh, is building, um, you know, airports in in Indola, Building in in my province, for instance, we are developing three, you know, um, you know, uh, international airport of, yeah, no, of modern course. standards, ultra modern international airports. You know, in Kasama. We're building one at Kasaba Bay International Airport. We're building the president demilitarized, you know, in order to boost, uh, you know, tourist arrivals in the northern province, for instance. The president demilitarized. We've got this uh, famous Samora Marshall Air Force Base, sure. which is pre predominantly an Air Force Base. But because of the challenges that we have in bringing, you know, tourists in the, in the province, the president demilitarized that. So, For but sure. we, are, we are also raising it to international standards. Of